So this is on the ideal gas law, and here's the cappuccino machine, where the cap that I just took off actually says pressure cap. And then I put it on here, and you have to decide, as I turn this on here, what is changing and what stays constant. constant um, obviously, um, the temperature is going to increase on this one here, and I can give a hint that look at the size of this here and the shape of it. And um, you know, there's something constant about this one here that's not going to change it. Um, yeah, it shouldn't be affected. Okay. Um, yeah, might as well do this one here. If you could try to film really closely, you can might be able to see the bubbles. Yeah, there we go. I don't know, I can see them from my point of view. And here, and this is beer, um, amber or ale, I forgot which one of the two. And as we can see, as the bubbles are rising, um, they increase in size. I don't know how well this looks on, on video, but we'll see. Uh, they increase in size and it's not the difference in pressure this is this is if you compare it to hydrostatic pressure is only a one percent decrease in pressure which means it would be only a one percent increase in volume and that's just way too little the the bubbles probably do increase in size by a factor of two and that cannot be accounted by the pressure decrease okay over here um, so this is hot water and i have these dented ping pong balls and I'm gonna put these in here in the hot water and I'm just gonna leave them there for a while. Come back later on. For now, here's another one. This is the one with the balloon and the weights in the water. And in cold water, it sinks. If you wanna put this here from the side, you can so the side you can see that it sinks. And then I put it in cold in hot water. And it floats nicely in hot water. This one over here, that's just show and tell. Imagine that I hook it up to, to a bicycle, and then as I as I do so, um, the bicycle tire. As I do so, I push this down here, so I'm changing something, and I do it relatively quickly as I do so. I guess that's the way it's supposed to be. Um, do it relatively quickly, and then if I'm not careful enough and I touch the nozzle, I notice that this nozzle here gets really hot. So something is changing. Several things are changing. In the meantime, the uh, my cappuccino or espresso is done. Okay, let's see what else we have. Let me look at the ping pong balls. I don't think that was enough time. Yes, it was. There we go. The dents are out. Both the ping pong balls. There we go. I think that's a dent that I put in a long, long time ago that never goes out. But the ones that you saw earlier, they're out. Um, this one over here, the balloon on, on the test tube. Do you want to try it while I film? Yes. There you go, thank you. Oh, you can hold it over there now and I keep filming it for a moment. So, here are we heating up the water. And the air inside the test tube and we'll see what happens to the balloon here in a moment oh yeah thank you thanks for doing that there we go and of course that was expected that's what the balloon would be doing and I think it increases in size as well yeah we can see it right now yeah. okay All right, and yeah, I think I can hand this back to you. There you go. This is simply about this is an inflated balloon, so I simply press it. So I change something of the four variables, and then something else changes. Um, this one here, I blow up the balloon. So initially, I'm doing something kind of obvious what I'm doing and then it's obvious that the size increases and probably the pressure increases as well and this one I think I can give away as I blow in there I increase the number of molds so what you have to look for is increased number of molds increased pressure and volume so that one I gave away this one here um, there is actually a cap here at, at the bottom of this of the syringe so this is sealed and as I press down 
we can see that I decreased the volume, but of course I increased the pressure and uh, then it expands again so we can see that, well, I increased the pressure and decreased the volume. And I believe this over here is the last one. You saw this on, on the last video. Um, I mean, on one of the last videos for, for the um, other for the heat experiments where we put this in cold water and in hot water and notice that this one is a sealed system, so something doesn't change and notice the um, size, shape, and material of it, so something else doesn't change either. And of course, I put in cold water, hot water, so temperature changes, and then something changes here as we can take a reading. And that's what you have to figure out. Okay, I think... Um, those were the experiments. Thank you.